Ladies and gentlemen, this is internet personality Vangelis, and a shadowy moon has risen to herald this review of SH Figure Arts Shadow Moon, the nemesis and counterpart of Black Sun, Common Rider Black. This century king is so fancy, his box is even chromed and shiny. Taking him out of the box, Shadow Moon is... Man, he's like... And there are studs everywhere. Slick silver paint is all over the good proportions and smooth black parts are with the pokey bits on his there are real good details in black and gunmetal on the head and the colorful v-fin core over the delicious green compound eyes so basically shadow moon looks really really fine thumbs up there was a time when this sh figure art shadow moon could have been lauded as basically the example of what Common Rider Fig Arts should be doing. And, uh, as with all things Fig Arts, they start off with all them joints in the head. This is your usual Fig art, figure Arts uh, joint layout. You've got the, the ball, then you got the ball, the ball with the hinge inside, so as you can do all of that stuff. You guys know the drill, right? Hopefully. He's got a lot of range, though, in, uh, in many parts of his sculpt, and, uh, this joint is a great example of that. Just check out... How far forward and backwards this guy can bend! Oh, it feels good. And, uh, nothing really turns all the way, but due to the simultaneous turning of multiple pieces, he can basically bend his waist left and right as far as he needs to go, and in a way that looks super cool and natural for a guy who is basically a giant robot bug man. His shoulders are real interesting, because they've got your usual figure arts thing, but they are... I want to say this is the first place where we saw this shoulder pad design, where... Instead of having the shoulder pads hinged at the top and kind of flapping, uh, these ones are actually uh, connected in at the bottom here, and thanks to that, no matter where you bend his shoulders, they are always looking good, except for when they go flying off. But this does let us see how they connect. There's uh, a little nub uh, inside there that goes onto the outside of his bicep. Um, I've never actually really had that many problems with these things popping off. My problems with these things are that they're actually a little bit too floppy uh, in the other direction. Uh, often I mess with this guy and I end up looking at him and his shoulder pads are kind of sticking all over the wrong places and I have to come in here and, you know, push them down. Uh, and the, the joint tolerances on here are just a little bit too loose and, uh, they get better as you go down, uh, the figure arts, uh, line of history and by that I mean Common Rider Blade. He's got swivels at the biceps, double jointed elbows which do a really good job of sucking right into this uh this these two silver rings in the sculpt and uh he's got your usual figure arts wrist with the double pegged pin disc thingy his hips are them figure arts hips what can do all of this and be all like yo i might be shadow moon but i'm hella flexible and uh you know, you don't really expect much less. And you can also just make him look deformed. There are thigh swivels up here. Uh, you can see they are happening all with the sculpt of this outer thigh armor. Uh, his knees are figure arts double jointed. His ankles, again, I want to say, was this guy where we first saw these ankles? I'm, my, my history is all vague now, but I know Shadow Moon was one of the first ones to debut the new plastic... Uh, ankle. This was at, this was after a long debacle of like simple ball socket ankles, the old metal hinge ankle. Trying to figure out an ankle identity for SH Figure Arts is what Bandai was doing back then, and this guy uh, has what has become, I think, the standard. This kind of fused pin disc system that does a real good job of just about everything. Because he's Shadow Moon, he's got these things in the backs of his heels. They can actually, you know, swivel up and down. Mostly, uh, I think this is just so you, when you when you tilt his foot like that, they stay in line with uh, the back of his leg. But if you want, they can also just move up and down on their own. They are a little bit loose. Uh, they aren't quite as tight as I'd have liked because it's just a simple C-clip connection. And uh, there's no detents anywhere, so they kind of just go beep, 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 beep. Yo, I'm a grasshopper robot thing. And his toes, his toes, he can walk around like an idiot. Shadow Moon can! So he's got a fantastic range of posability, and uh, the only downside is that some bits, especially the shoulder pads, are a little bit too fluid. It's like, if the joints were the sort of joints, what would be lubricated? 
someone put in what would be called maybe just a tad too much lubrication. But hey, when you're looking at Shadow Moon and he looks this damn good, it's kind of natural to, uh, to over-lubricate, if you know what I mean. While he has two fists to crush those who would oppose him, Shadow Moon also has two open hands to lay upon the armrests of his future throne. There's a third and final pair of hands, both ready to grip stuff, like Shadow Moon's Satan Saber. This weapon of the Century Kings has a candy, delicious, translucent red blade, and looks regal and murderous. But if his rightful sword has been subjugated from his grasp, Shadow Moon also has his twin Shadow Sabers, also bearing translucent red blades. The handles of these weapons are colored in Shadow Moon's cold palette of steel and green. His gripping hands have one more use, riding his rightful steed, the Battle Hopper. While Shadow Moon doesn't have a ton of accessories, I seriously can't think of anything else I want with this guy. Except maybe to give him a massage and get him to tell me that I'm cool. Shadow Moon is a slick package of SH figure arts at one of its highest points. The figure's well polished, with the only big negative being a lack of die cast that feels like it'd really have been at home within his cold casing. But hey, figure arts and die cast haven't been a thing to expect for some time. This is a highly recommendable representation of the character in any of his strangely myriad appearances, and well worth the pickup. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Vangelis, and such a good Shadow Moon deserves a counterpart of similar quality. Now, I do still like RSH Figure Arts Black Sun, but it also feels like it's time for a renewal.